Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Shirazi, AKA Dr. Ozzy. And today I'll be answering a question that everyone is asking about, and that's microneedling. Microneedling is good for so many different things like skin texture, improving fine lines and wrinkles, scarring, but a lot of people's main concern is how does microneedling work and can microneedling damage hair follicles? Before we get started, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe, and comment below. Let me know if you've tried it, and be sure to turn on your notifications so you know when I upload a new video. So what is microneedling? Microneedling is using a set of needles. This is called the collagen pen. This is what we use in our office. And this set of needles will go in and out of the skin multiple times. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna turn this on. And you can see here, it's on a automated device. And you see these tiny little needles that go in and out of the skin multiple times. What does that do? That induces injury to the skin. And when there's injury, your skin goes, okay guys, we need to rev up all these cells and all these growth factors because we're gonna have to make new skin. And new skin cells means that you're gonna make new collagen, new elastin, and you, the skin releases all these growth factors that are great at skin remodeling. So what are the benefits? The benefits would be help reduce fine lines and wrinkles because you're boosting collagen. It helps with scars because it allows for new skin cells to come in, takes off the old skin when the needles go in and out. And by releasing these growth factors, you have this fresh collagen that lays down better than the collagen in scarring. So as you can imagine, as the needles go in and out of the skin, you're gonna get some bleeding. So you can watch this video here where I'm using platelet-rich plasma to microneedle it into the skin. And as you can see, there's a little bit of bleeding. And what happens is then you're a little red right after the procedure. And then after 24 hours, the redness goes away and within a few days you start to peel. You peel the old skin and allow for new skin to grow in. And you can see her at day seven, she looks amazing. She's got that nice glow with all that new collagen that's come in. So it's actually a little easier recovery than lasers because it doesn't just take off the entire surface of the skin. It leaves some skin intact and that's how it regenerates the new skin rather quickly. As opposed to lasers, sometimes lasers can take a little bit longer to heal. Okay, but can microneedling damage hair follicles? Well, the short answer is yes, if it's done improperly or if the needles go in way too deep and there's a lot of tears and things in the skin that can lead to further scarring. So this is something I highly recommend you do at your doctor's office because you definitely don't want to go deeper than 1.5 to 2 millimeters when you're on the scalp because actually microneedling can stimulate hair growth. This year I feel like we're seeing the skinification of hair where we're applying everything that we're doing to the skin to the hair from products to procedures. There was a published study in the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology that said that not only there were new hair growth from using microneedling with PRP on the scalp, we're seeing a thicker diameter of hair follicles as well. A lot of times microneedling was combined with other hair stimulating solutions such as PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma, and minoxidil, Latisse, these are all solutions that stimulate hair growth. When you combine them with microneedling, it enhances the penetration of the solution. So now the solutions are getting into the skin and going down to the hair follicles much better than they were when you don't do microneedling. So really microneedling enhances the properties of these hair stimulating solutions. There are other solutions that can be used, such as solutions with caffeine, with Procopil, with peptides that help support hair growth. So this is quite exciting because we never thought of microneedling the scalp and I've been doing it in the office. You can see this video where I'm microneedling um, the scalp using Latisse, which traditionally has been used to grow your lashes, but now we're applying it to hair growth. And of course, minoxidil, there's so much science and data that backs up using minoxidil for hair loss. I think it's a great one to combine 
with microneedling in the office. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about microneedling. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you.